Deserves everything he gets. Oh, someone sent me a present. <laughs> I wonder why. It's not my birthday. It isn't Christmas. Still, as the saying goes, never look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> oh, hello, you two. You're just in time to see me open my present. Am I going to open it right now? Yes, I am, if I get the chance. Hey, what are you doing down there? Don't you want to see what's inside? Oh. <laughs> such a thing. Oh, I might have guessed you two. You're supposed to be my friends. <laughs> it's an April Fool surprise. Today isn't April the 1st. That's why it's a surprise. <laughs> yes, very funny. Well, you may think you're funny, but I just think you're silly. The old flower in the box trick, it's hardly very original. If I was going to trick you, I'd come up with a much better idea than that. Hey, Prove it. OK. You're on. Right. Now, let's think. How am I going to trick Sooty and Scampy? Ah! <gasps> the world's easiest practical joke! <laughs> That's just what I need to inspire me! <laughs> You just caught me off my guard, that's all. I'm still going to fool you. Huh? How? Easy peasy. You see, what I thought I'd do was wait until you're distracted and then... Hang on a minute. Why am I telling you my plan? Because I'm a nincompoop. Well, that's charming. Hey, come back here. You know, I'm still going to get you. You'll be sorry that you've messed with me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all over my face. Yes, I know. It suits me. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it would suit Sooty and Scampy better. They won't be laughing when I come up with a perfect trick. Can you help? Hey, that's a good idea. You and I would make the perfect team. Yes, with my expert brains and your expert... Uh... Huh. Well, anyway, between us, we can't fail. Now, if we're going to fool Sooty and Scampy, we need to put our thinking caps on. <laughs> huh. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Hello, may I help? <gasps> well, hello. <laughs> Uh, hello. Uh, I'd like to book a room, please. Do you know who you are? Uh, I've got a rough idea, yes. You're on the telly. Am I? Oh, where's the camera? No, <laughs> no. You're Brian Blessed. Oh, just wait till the others hear who's staying at Sooty Heights. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, no. No? Uh, I wonder if you could do me a favour. Do you anything? <laughs> yes. The thing is that I'm preparing for an important new film role, and I need a few days' peace and quiet. Now, if you tell people that I'm here, I mean, this place will be crawling with autograph hunters. Oh, that's the price of fame. Yes, but I don't want uh, fame. Uh, not today. I want somewhere where I can hide away, uh, where no one can hear me. Uh, somewhere private and discreet. Oh, right. You've come to the right place. Discretion is my middle name. Well, actually, it's Priscilla. Excellent. Now, I'll put you in our best room. As far as I'm concerned, you're not here. Oh, thanks, Priscilla. Sue. Oh, bless you. Uh, you're too kind, Priscilla. Bless you, too. Yes, and remember, I'm not here. Your secret's safe with me. Shh. Have you got the custard pie? <laughs> Then let me have it. Am I sure? Of course I'm sure. Let me have it. No. Wait. I asked for it. I really should have seen that coming. Look, let's just do it 
properly. Oh, come here. Put the custard pie on this spring, put it in the box, and close the lid. <laughs> now, when Sooty and Scampy open it... Splash! <laughs> Just wipe the smile off their faces. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello! <laughs> Have I had an accident shaving? <laughs> oh, oh, look! Someone's left a parcel. <laughs> what does it? Oh, it says, for the attention of Sooty and Scampy. Hey, boys, it's for you. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? You weren't born yesterday? Oh, no. No, this isn't a trick parcel. Is it, Sweep? No, it isn't. <laughs> Come on, boys. You don't really think I'm silly enough to try and fool you with your own trick? There's a flying saucer outside. Where? You can't see anything. Nor can I. <gasps> Just trying to distract us because they're too scared to open their presents, aren't you? Well, come on then, in that case, open the box. <laughs> what? Hang on a minute. Hey, now that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> <gasps> Magic! You're right, sweet. Come on, that's not fair. Do we give in yet? No, no way. You've overstepped the mark this time. This is war. We're going to get you back. Somehow. Hello, Sooty Heights. How may I help you? Ah! Oh, no. Sue, what's up? Nothing. H who was that on the phone? No one. Wrong number. <laughs> Hello? No, I'm sorry. No one of that name is staying here. Sue, what on earth is going on? Why would anything be going on? <laughs> the way you're behaving, you'd think I had some kind of earth-shatteringly big secret that I wasn't telling you about, which I haven't. But are you going to answer that? I might. Right, I will then. No! No, we need some paper clips. What? Tell you what, I'll answer the phone and you can fetch them. They're in the office. Third draw down. Look, for the last time, Brian Blessed isn't here. He told me so himself. Oh, oh I see. I see. Hold the line a moment. Psst, it's me, Priscilla. There's a man on the phone who says he's your agent. Oh, OK. Uh, there aren't any paper clips in the drawer. Hello, I'm putting you through now. Sue, you're up to something. Oh, I don't know what you mean. Come on, Sue. I know when you're hiding a secret because you start shaking and gabbling. Uh, I'm not shaking and gabbling. I never gabble. I always say what I want to say and shut up. I never go on and on just talking and talking. The idea is absurd, absolutely absurd. It's absurd as suggesting Brian Blessed is staying in our master bedroom and he's asked me not to tell a living soul he's here. Brian Blessed is staying here? They want to start filming in three days up a mountain, uh, but I haven't seen the script yet. <laughs> oh, you, you'll send a copy over. Oh, great. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. I, I don't want anyone to know that I'm here. So you better not put my real name on the parcel. Uh, uh, mark it for the attention of... Uh, let me think of a good name. Mm. Ah, yes. Richard. <laughs> uh, Richard, that'll do it. Uh, call me Richard. Uh, Richard who? Does it matter? Just Richard. Just send it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mustard. <laughs> Soap. <laughs> Pickles. Pickles. <laughs> Chili powder. Come on. Now all we need to do is give it a quick stir. <laughs> this cake isn't going to taste very nice. No, it won't. Right. Now let's put it in the oven. <laughs> do we have to eat it? No. The idea is we leave it lying around and Sooty and Scampy will eat it. <laughs> Yuck indeed. <laughs> It'll take a while to bake. I can't Wait to see their faces! <laughs> oh! Oh! Back to Richard. Oh, that's me! <laughs> Where 
Thank you. <laughs> Cheerio. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Open it. Give me a chance, sweet. Do you know, I've never received so many parcels in one day. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I smell a rat. <laughs> no. I mean, I know what's going on. This is another trick from Sooty and Scampy. <laughs> They're not going to make a fool out of me. <laughs> They already have. Well, no more. This is going where it belongs. In the bin! <laughs> Come on, let's go and see if that cake's ready yet. It's a sooty and scampy to the package. It says, for Richard, this is not a trick. <laughs> Would you believe that? <laughs> Brilliant! It looks good enough to eat. <laughs> Sweep. It looks good enough to eat, but it tastes disgusting, remember? <laughs> now, come on, let's hide and watch Sooty and Scampy get a taste of their own medicine. <laughs> yes, it's all his own hair, you know. <laughs> and most of his teeth are real. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to meet him. Well, you have to pretend you don't know who he is, remember? <gasps> Look at that cake. Mmm, that smells nice. I wonder who baked it. Shall we try a bit? Do you think we should? Yeah, why not? Oh, yummy, yum. Mm. Yum, yeah. All right, big bit for you. Big bit for me? <laughs> he called me. <laughs> oh, 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 that's why not. Oh. Yuck. Oh, oh, you weren't supposed to eat that. I know. It tastes like mustard and chilli. <laughs> it is mustard and chilli. Oh. Well, it wasn't meant for you. It was meant for, for them. Well, I don't think it's funny. And nor do I. We're supposed to be running a hotel, not playing tricks on each other. Especially not when there's an important guest staying. <laughs> what important guest? Who mentioned an important guest? You did. Did I? Uh, I think that what Sue means is that all our guests are important. Mm. And if we're going to run this hotel properly, then we can't waste our time playing silly pranks on each other. Agreed? Well, they started it. Agreed. OK. Right, come on, it's tea time. Oh, I'll go and see if you know who has got everything he wants. You know who? Yes, I do, and I'm not telling. <laughs> Psst. Don't do that. Sorry. Now people are staring at me. It's OK. He's not famous or anything. I thought you were going to be discreet. I am. No one knows you're here apart from me. Oh, and Liana. <laughs> I might as well have my name in lights over the door. Whatever you say. No, 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 come back. I was making a joke. It's a good job you're not a comedian. Just don't tell anyone else. But you're not a comedian. No! Th that I'm not who I am. I won't. I promise. I can recommend the chocolate gateau. Oh, oh, fine, that could be lovely. And a pot of tea, too, please. Oh, by the way, has a package arrived uh, for Richard? Why do you want to know that? Uh, because I'm Richard. Is that who you're not who you are? That's my alias. I beg your pardon? My false name. Oh! I'm expecting my new film script to arrive, Priscilla. Right! I'll look out for it, <laughs> Mr. Alias. <laughs> it's fun, this, isn't it? <laughs> Sooty and Scampy are very pleased with themselves. Richard has failed to trick them. This calls for a celebration. A celebration, says Sooty, of our victory over Richard and Sweep. Hooray, replies Scampy. <gasps> Wait a minute, says Sooty. If we've promised to stop playing pranks, we ought to get rid of that trick parcel we left in reception. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> it's for me. Oh, I wonder who it's from. <laughs> Sooty and Scampy? No, we've called a truce, remember? And besides, look what it says. Poor Richard, this is not a trick. <laughs> no! No? No, that's not for you. So it's got my name on it. Aha, uh -huh, but there's a reason for that. What reason? I can't tell you. Sue, so stop talking nonsense. Let me open my present. Richard, if you open that, Brian will be very annoyed. Brian? No, oh, no. 
Oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. Say what? Oh, Brian Blessed is staying here. Only he's not Brian Blessed, he's Richard. <sighs> not you, Richard. You're you, Richard. But him, Richard. Another Richard. Oh, it's very complicated. So, if Brian Blessed was staying here, I definitely know about it. He is! And what's more, he's in the dining room right now, taking afternoon tea. <laughs> My granny thinks you're wonderful. Oh, really? Yeah. She's been a fan of yours since she was a child. <laughs> let me fill your teacup. I can manage. Oh, no, no, let me, please. Oh, oh the hand Are was you okay? hot. Oh, it's nothing. Well, let me see. Kiss better. <laughs> Are you sure that's Brian Blessed? I'm positive. Looks like Pavarotti. Brian Blessed kissed my hand. I don't believe in a big star staying in our hotel. I'd better give him his parcel. No, no, let me. I saw him first. He kissed my hand. He wanted to kiss me first. There's no need to brag about Ladies, it. Ladies, please, there's an easy way to settle this dispute. How? I'll give it to him. No! <laughs> oh, no, cries Sooty. The trick parcel has gone. Your secret safe with me. What secret? Oh, absolutely. We're both men of the world, eh? Brian. Now, who told you my name? Sue. Oh, bless you. Well, so much for being incognito. Here's the delivery you've been waiting for. Ah, at last! <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? That isn't my script. Are you trying to make a fool of me? Mr. Elias, there's a phone call for you. Oh, thanks. Thank you. I'm finished with you yet. I want to know what's going on. So do I. <laughs> Tell me you're kidding me. Oh, no. Who was that? Oh, that was my agent. Apparently, they've offered my big movie role to someone else. Why? Because I didn't get back to them about the scripting type. But you said it hadn't arrived. It hasn't. Nothing's come for you in your name. Oh, but it wasn't in my name. I used an alias. I call myself Richard. Oh, that's a nice name. <laughs> Is that what I'm looking for? <laughs> Yes! Yes, it is! But, I mean, where did you find it? In the bin? But how did it get in the bin? Richard, you put it there. Uh, 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 I can explain. You hid my script in a bin and lost me the biggest acting job of my career. I thought it was a custard pie. I'll give you a custard pie! <laughs> What's wrong? It, it's an absolute load of rubbish. I mean, if I'd have starred in this, I'd have never been taken seriously again. No hard feelings. No. Oh. Oh. You know, if you're not going to Hollywood, maybe you should try something new. Well, like what? Like, uh, like comedy. Everybody likes to laugh. This <laughs> <laughs> is. I'm a dead natural. <laughs> you give me a new career. You're so kind. Thank you, bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.